Hey, well, welcome back to all of us, at least from our three-week vacation time, which I took very little of, but anyway. Hey, we're back in the office, and uh, that means we're overloaded, as usual, with much more work than we can properly take care of. But that's why, I, hey, if you do nothing else today, please pray for Rebecca and Kelly and the gang, you know, who are trying to take care of most of the administrative work here because there's just an awful lot done. Really, in reality, we would, we really need to hire a couple of more people, and we're just believing God that he's... Lord's going to provide the budget for that purpose. Now, a lot of interesting, good things happening. This week I met with a, uh, a group of leaders from North Carolina. They have their own college but want to network with us using our curriculum. And uh, I mean, they really are excited about a school of ministry in conjunction with their program. Looks like that's going to launch. Uh, we've got uh, here locally, we're starting a new school of ministry connected with Summit Church in the El Cajon area of San Diego. And that's just exciting. Again, uh, Danny Womack has been a big part of putting that together. So God's moving. We're, we're starting new schools and doing more distance ed. And again, things are great. You know, what's been on my heart today, as I'm sure it is for many of you, is uh, what's happening in Afghanistan. I mean, there's we know there's lots of believers there. Now, there's rumors about violence happening to them. We don't really know what's going on, but one thing's for certain. We know that when there's a vacuum of power like this, there's going to be persecution. There's going to be all kinds of problems. And so we really need to pray for the church in Afghanistan and that whole region. We're looking at, uh, at the end of October, uh, traveling, Joan and I, to Pakistan. A lot depends on whether or not things have settled a bit within that region because again uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, they share a border and it could be quite dicey. Uh, so you know keep us in prayer on that. Keep uh, the Eberleys in prayer because they're really doing a lot of work into Pakistan. So anyway God's doing great things. Thanks for those of you that responded to uh, giving to help Australia and the, the Vision International College there. Uh, we're still gathering some money. We'll be sending a donation down to uh, Dennis Plant and the gang down there. So keep them in prayer as well. Uh, God is good. And let's just keep believing God for great things. Amen? Amen. Hey, I forgot. Just a P.S. You know, one of the things that we're working on in conjunction with this new school of ministry in, uh, in El Cajon Summit Church is to start doing our video content. Now, really, the plan is to have a five to seven minute video that uh, kind of does an overview of a chapter of one of the books that we're using uh, for a whatever the course is. So for instance, today I'm going to be doing some of the overview, maybe all of it, for my book Fresh Manna on how to study the Word. That's going to be one of the first courses offered through Summit. And so I'm going to be able to get that one done, knock it out. And of course, it'll be used for that school of ministry, but it also will be used in our online system to be able to, uh, to have it as the lecture for our distance students around the world. Now, we've got, they're looking at 20 courses over two years that they need video content. So we've got some time to do that. But we really want, oh, I mean, we really need to get this video stuff done. So one of the things I've asked Joan to do is to organize, uh, you know, it's kind of like herding cats when you're talking about organizing folks connected to vision. But anyway, to try and organize folks and get people to be willing to do these five to seven per chapter of a book uh, video to uh, add to our online learning system. So you're going to be hearing from her. Please, I mean, think about it. It's any of the vision courses, undergrad and graduate, all need to have this video content. Uh, Dr. Josh has put together a, a, a simple format for how we do it, where we can offer these as free courses to anybody that wants and anyone that logs on, they get to see the free content, but where we record it through Zoom, most likely. In my case, I'm going to be doing it right here on an actual camera, but most of the time I'll do it on Zoom and then it can be uploaded into YouTube and we have it available then for the entire world. It's part of taking the whole word to the whole world. So again, when you get an email from Joan, listen, I know you ignore my emails, but don't ignore hers. Because I mean, you know, 
it could be hazardous to your health. But we really need the help. It's time to get this together. And it's going to be a part, we think, of of our uh, showing the accrediting agency out of the UK the, the progress that we're making to have best practices in our distance education program. Anyway, sorry for the PS, but hey, we really need your help. Bless you.